Hello there, happy Thursday. It's July 20th, 1032 in the morning, 82 degrees. And I'm at uh, the end of our road at the beach and I am uh, getting ready to go get my nails done. Another beautiful day on the west side of Oahu. So uh, I'm Pastor Vicki Winterrode with Monkey Pod Tree Ministries. I co-pastor with my husband, Pastor Keith, and we're doing Faith Food Devotions, Kenneth E. Hagen, and we are on July 20th, and it's entitled, No So Salvation. I thought, what does that mean? No So, No Dash So Salvation. Well, you know how you, you say, well, I know so. <laughs> so that's, that's where that came from. So uh, 1 John 4, 12 and 13, no man hath seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwelleth in us and his love is perfected in us. Hereby know we that we dwell in him and he in us because he hath given us his spirit. And Kenneth Hagin goes on to say, I was born again as a teenager on the bed of sickness in August 22nd, on August 22nd, 1933. Since that day, the thought has never occurred to me that I might not be saved. Even as a young Christian, I would run into people who would say, you're not saved because you don't belong to our church. Or those who would argue, you're not saved because you haven't been baptized our way. And many others. But none of it disturbed me. I laughed at it because I had the inward witness. Romans 8:16 says, The Spirit itself, Himself, beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And I had the love, and I had the love, we know that we have passed from death into life because we love 1 John 3, 14. I had the witness and I had the love. That's why I never doubted my salvation. I walked in love to the best of my ability and I enjoyed the witness of God's spirit on the inside. So we have a confession today and I'll say it once and then I'll say it again so you can say it out loud with me if you'd like to. I have the witness. I have the witness. The Spirit Himself bears witness with my spirit. The Spirit Himself bears witness with my spirit that I am the child of God. That I am the child of God. I have the love. I have the love. I know that I have passed from death unto life. I know that I have passed from death unto life. God dwells in me. God dwells in me. His love is perfected in me. His love is perfected in me. I know I dwell in him. I know I dwell in him. And he dwells in me. And he dwells in me because he has given me of his spirit. Because he has given me of his spirit. Thank you, Jesus. So I don't know if anybody's ever tried to tell you, well, you got to jump through these religious hoops of mine in order to know that you really are a child of God. Well, I think uh, if we have a born again experience and Christ's spirit becomes one with our spirit and we become a new creation and we go from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light, it's pretty obvious that we're born again and we know in our hearts. So don't let anybody make you doubt that. Don't let anybody talk you out of it if you've truly been born again. And if you haven't asked Jesus Christ into your heart to be your Lord and Savior, then you can get a hold of Keith and I and we'll pray with you. And our ministry email address is monkeypodtreeministries at gmail.com. That's M-O-N-K-E-Y-P-O-D-T-R-E-E -E -E ministries at gmail.com. So you can contact us and we will be happy to get back to you and pray with you and tell you how to receive 
of abundant life and to be born again into the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Amen. Aloha and have a beautiful Wednesday or Thursday. <laughs> Aloha.